All right, it's Big Kev. I'm here at the uh, Chiller Convention with megastar Edward James Olmos. How are you, Mr. Olmos? Doing very well. Thank you for being here. I, I appreciate the time. I just want to ask you a couple of quick questions, and we won't take up any uh, more of your uh, time. I know you have 150,000 fans that are here today that want to see you. I want to ask you, Blade Runner, classic science fiction film, had an anniversary uh, in the last couple of years. How does it feel to look back on something like that after all those years? I think it's a great um, testament to the work that Ridley Scott did. And he created something that 25 years after we finished it uh, is more respected than on the day that we finished it. It's only grown with uh, understanding. I think the same thing is going to happen to Battlestar. Uh, there are works that probably will gain more notoriety as time goes on. Because more people adore and appreciate Battlestar and Blade Runner today, uh, especially Blade Runner today, 25 years after, than uh, on the day that we finished it. There's just no two ways around it. And um, I'm very grateful. I think that this anniversary is probably the most uh, extraordinary one. I, I spent it with Ridley and uh, Rudger and uh, Daryl Hannah, and a lot of us went to Venice to premiere the final cut. So it was really a beautiful experience. And, uh, and speaking of Battlestar, wow. How, how did you ever imagine that it would become as mega popular as it became? And are you sad now that it's over? We're going to see maybe some more Commander uh, Adama down the line. No, I don't think you'll ever see me do that character again. Um, it's once in a lifetime, and I'm very grateful for that character. Um, I think that uh, I don't think anybody knew that it was going to do what it did. I just think that everybody continued to work towards uh, a common understanding and something very unique happened with uh, Battlestar, something that could only happen in today's time. The thing was is that the writers wrote it, uh, a conceptual understanding of Ron Moore's reimagining. They worked on it, they gave us the scripts, so we took it to another level upon performance. The performance by way of the behind the a camera and in front of the camera everybody elevated the work of the writers to a higher level and the writers were so ecstatic about that then the editors got it the editors and post-production staff and the special effects and the music and they took it to a higher level and then they showed it on the air and this is where the magic came in uh, people saw the performances saw the, the 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 episodes and then commented on them they blogged them and then the writers started blogging all over the world. From all over the world, people would be talking to them, commenting on what they were getting out of the piece, and they took it to another level. Then the writers started to write from that point. So there was a lot of interaction there. Big interaction. I mean, like I've never seen it before, and there still is. I mean, there, there, the usage of the Internet today is, is much more effective than any kind of communications we ever had on the planet. It's more instantaneous. Um, so for me, it's, it's uh, something that could not have been accomplished in any other era. And that's why the, um, you know, Battlestar turned out the way it did. It's because it, it was, there was a tremendous amount of communication between all the levels. And, and you, you speak with such pride about the project, and, but you say that uh, you don't think that you'll go back and do, uh, do any more if, if something else were to come up. I don't think anything else is going to come up. I, I would go back in a second. <laughs> I would. I would love to, re, you know, do more of anything to do with Battlestar, but I don't think it's going to happen. Well, thank you so much for your time, Mr. Almost. We really appreciate it. Hey, it's Big Kev. I'm here at uh, the Chiller Convention with Luciana Caro from Battlestar Galactica. Hi. How are you? I'm fabulous. I'm having a great time. That's terrific. So let's ask, uh, let me ask you the obvious question. So now it, Battlestar Galactica is over. Yeah. Now, how does that make you feel? I mean, it seemed like it was kind of right in the prime of everything, and now it's gone. I know. We were never, uh, we were never going to go past four seasons, so I knew it was going to end after season four, but it's sad to see it go. Are you happy with the uh, the fan response? I mean, the show was huge. I know, I know. I, I just feel really blessed to be able to have been part of that. Is there going to be a continuation in the form of uh, maybe some movies or things like that? Uh, I think they do have one coming up called The Plan, which I'm not in, sadly, because it's about the Cylons. 
I think. <laughs> and uh, so now that this, uh, this uh, gig is over, what are you going to do now? What's your next project? Well, I just finished shooting two movies. I did a, a movie called Phantom Racer, and I also did a movie called Fast Track. Terrific. Yeah. Is there, uh, is there, is this your first con experience? No, no, no. I've been doing cons for about two years. Right. And how, how do you like them? How do you like meeting the fans and that? You get a lot of... Uh... I love the fans. No. You know, Battlestar Galactica fans are, like, really cool. They're really smart and um, intelligent, and they're just really fun and loving and supportive. Terrific. And uh, thanks so much for your time, Luciana Caro here at the Chiller Convention.